Okay, guys. I, uh, just, uh, I don't know, this video is by a title. I just thought you guys would be interested in seeing some things from Dutchwear gear. Or Dutch clip, I guess. Uh, Dutchwear gear, yeah. Um, in Pennsylvania. Uh, first of all, excellent customer service. I wanted to put that in there. I, um, made an order. Um, within, like, 20 minutes later, I decided I wanted to order some more fabric, and he emailed me back. He actually already shipped, I made the label for my previous package. He emailed me back saying, make the order. He gave me a coupon code for free shipping. I'll add this in. And then it was also upgraded to priority mail. Awesome. Um, awesome, awesome customer service. Um, so you get with the cottage company, I suppose. So, what I got, I'll start one by one. This is green, um, six, um, 0.64 ounce per square yard noble um, fabric, and that does feel very good. It actually feels kind of, um, I've never felt this before. I have some light and equipment quilts, and they use the my, mine's actually Revolution X, so it uses a 30D material. So this is 10D material. Um, feels kind of like a balloon, in a way. A little bit rubbery. Um, but supposedly this works very well, very breathable, and I will be making between this and the other um, black um, same fabric I got with this color, I'm going to be making a quilt. Uh, a couple of quilts actually. I got four yards of this green fabric over here. And I got six yards, I believe, of the black. Oops. And yeah, I don't get to decide if I'm going to make a uh, green on top for the quilts or, you know, black on the bottom. Something like that. I think it's only going to take two and a half yards. Actually, I'm hoping two yards max um, for each side of the quilt. So we'll see about that. I'm planning on making a uh, 50 degree summer quilt and a uh, about 30 degree or so winter quilt. I mean, well, shoulder season, fall, fall and spring quilt. That's what I'm hoping to make. Let's see. A nice personal thank you right here. Always nice with the college companies. You usually always see that. I printed off my list. So you got Argon 67, six yards of the um, black, and of course four yards of the other, which is of course my second order right here. Um, put that off over here. I decided I just looked over the site, and since I like ordering everything all at once, and um, save on shipping costs. Before it was like, I don't know, six, three dollars and ninety-four cent shipping costs with standard economy. If I, I realized if I added the other fabric, it would have bumped up the priority mail. I think once it goes over a hundred dollars, it goes up the priority mail. Um, but it is whatever. I, um, but I decided just to buy a whole bunch of random stuff from his site. I n might not use it, might use it, I don't know. This is some um, silicon tube. I think I got five feet of it. No, wait, I got three feet. What did I get? Plastic tube in five feet. I guess this is five feet. Yep. Um, I'm five foot four inches. <laughs> so. But I could probably use this maybe to make custom little bladders or something one day. I thought it might be useful one day, just lightweight food grade tubing. And it wasn't that much, it came out to that five feet of tubing, came out to just five dollars, so it kind of was a little bit steep, I guess, if I'm not going to use it, but it's, I don't know, I thought it was worth having. I bought just, I bought a ton of little things here, just, just for parts, I'm planning on making a backpack too. Um, probably not with this fabric, it'll be a little bit lightweight, but definitely going to have a backpack. Got some S Beaners Micro Locks here. These are kind of cool because it, they um, actually lock 
Um, I don't have any little tiny carabiners, so I figured I would get some of these. I could, and they're really lightweight, so uh, I might end up using them to tie out some of my tarps or tent that I got. Um, from future video will be from Bora Gear. Um, video right after this, I actually have another box behind me for z packs gear. So I'll set these little S beaters off. I got some backpack clips. I got a whole bunch of these from here and z packs. Just, you know, I don't know what style clips I'm gonna get. I just got a whole bunch of like, different bags, belts, um, stuff like that. I got, I think I got two of each size. You can see this versus the small one. Of course, don't know what I'm going to put where. And then I got some. Glad I got this. I'm going to end up using it. This is the Gutter, Gutterman thread. Uh, thread. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. But, uh, Gutterman. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but it's 100% polyester, heavy duty thread. Uh, I got this just because it's recommended. It's good quality thread. It's really not that much for what it is. It's uh, three dollars or something. Um, and this will probably make everything I'm gonna make. But um, short, quick, long story short, I ordered a whole set of this same thread from Joann's online, and so far I'm not very happy with their with their online shopping experience, um, just to say the least. Um, I'm not. I. That's why I'm glad I ordered this because I don't expect to get the other thread anytime soon, to say the least. Uh, so, but I got that and inside this little bag just to keep everything organized. You got some line locks here. I don't know it's just I just got a whole bunch. They were cheap, like twenty cents a piece or something. Yeah, twenty cents a piece, two dollars for ten of them. Figured, why not? I can get make a whole bunch of little stuff stacks. I'm probably Debating whether or not to put a drawstring on my summer quilt. I think I will. Uh, and I'll probably use one of these. Some of the cord I got from Z-Packs. Um, I looked around. Apparently these little um, line lots are cheaper here than Z-Packs. So it's, I kind of shopped around to get cheapest prices for every, every little thing. As far as I'm aware, they're the same, same exact thing. Got another couple S beaters here. A little bit different than other ones. Just normal. Ones they don't walk out, so I'm sure these could be useful as something. They of course don't hardly weigh anything, and they're very small. But that's pretty useful, and that's all that's in there. Oh, well, actually, two different colors. I don't remember where that, but I like that. Um, got a silver one and got a black one. It's fine with me. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. See, go down the list. Got two um, S beaters. That's I believe is this. I think um, I got the black argon fabric over here. I uh, got the Gitterman thread. Um, nice to have. My actual plan was to have an orange thread and the orange and black quilt, uh, but. That might or might not happen now. I don't know. I might just go with um, green on the outside for my summer quilt. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Got the mini cord locks. One cord box. Um, plastic two in. S beaner two pack. Actually, that's this one. Oh, these. I'm sorry. These are the black and silver ones here. The two um, S beaners, single each. And then. Let's see, side release cross buckles, got two of each of these here, three fourth inch and one inch buckle. And of course the four yards of green argon fabric. Um, and I'm going to be making videos on me making these quilts. Um, I hope to, um, I'm total noob, uh, I'm making this stuff, I just, yeah I spent a lot of money, I think total for Dutchwear gear it was $120 for the fabric. I got more than enough fabric to make two quilts, and I'm planning on making uh, mittens and maybe even some insulated pants with leftover Apex insulation I got. But um, I got enough, or maybe I'll just sell it to my friend so he can make a quilt. But 
Yeah, that's a lot of money to spend up front. For some, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make this stuff properly, but I, I sure hope so. Um, so. I'm hoping to get a max 11 ounce quilt with this, and my hope is 10 ounces because I'm pretty short, the five foot four inches, and so I hope this really lightweight fabric and the lightweight um, insulation will get me to that 10 ounces and I'm hoping it's relatively simple to sew. Um, made a stuff sack that was very good. I don't have it out here anymore. Actually wait, yeah I do. But yeah, you can guys can just quit watching now if you don't want to keep on watching this. Um, got a... I watched a guy's video and uh, it was going good until he got to the square bottom. But yeah. I use a zip uh, wire tie as a closure, but it's practice, and uh, that was just what basic Walmart grade. And I can't, like, I can rip it from up here, but if I were to um, get on the inside and pull, it's even for cheap thread. It's amazingly strong. And this is just two dollars a yard, like nylon cotton hybrid fabric. I found at Walmart. It's the closest that I could get to this. And so, uh, uh, just something to practice on. Yeah, if you have any questions about anything else here, not much to ask, I guess. Um, yeah, feel free to ask down below. I'll try and answer anything I can. But I'm really happy with Dutch Wear Gear. Definitely go check them out. Um, they're very, very good. If I ever, if I ever get a hammock, I'll definitely be looking at their hammock stuff. Um, Video stopped recording. If I ever end up getting a hammock, like I said, I would um, definitely get some of their stuff for that. Um, otherwise, um, long video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, probably the Z Packs one.